Once a God-forsaken city where the bodies of angels littered the streets, much has changed in Santa Destroy. Giant corporations, rampant city development, the assassin's underworld has become a commodity, a chance for profit and entertainment for the masses. But shadows from the wilder days still linger. Travis, a man who slashed his way to top then walked away, has become an urban legend many even doubt was real. Here, the strong devour the weak, the weak kneel before the strong, and those who wield true power watch and count their own. And in this mass-produced savagery, one truth is constant. With each shattered life, the same vow is uttered, I will have revenge. And no assassin can ever walk away from that. He must draw his beam and stand against the madness. This is Travis Touchdown's Desperate Struggle. Hold it, you violence-loving bastard. Before you start your desperate struggling, you should drop a nice save. I'll never forget that night, for the first time in 120 years, snow fell on Santa Destroy. It was a sign, another change, both beautiful and deadly, was coming. It's called fashionably late fuckface. Travis Touchdown. This place bring back any memories? It's only where my last killing spree started. All those screwed up ranking fights. Now why would I remember that? It'll be your blood this time, when I avenge my brother! Draw! Brother? Who? Don't you remember the man you fought here? Um, no. Can't say I do. Guess he didn't make an impression. Must have been crazy weak. You insensitive prick! You killed him and you don't even remember! You know how humiliating that is? Sorry. I don't keep a death diary. And in case you're wondering, I'm even stronger now. You will lose! You've got no chance of winning this. <clears throat> You're something else. I haven't been so worked up in ages. When you see your bro in hell, tell him he's still a douche!
Hello? What would you like me to do? So, it's you again. I know, because you never say a word. It reminds me of the ocean. Your calm breaths. Like the faint sound of waves. You know, I used to love the beach. So what should I tell you this time? Oh, it was snowing today. It's strange what triggers our memories. I'll never forget. That night, for the first time in 120 years, snow fell on Santa Destroy. It was a sign. Another change, both beautiful and deadly, was coming. Blanketed in white, the city never looked so beautiful. But anything so pristine must be cursed. White turned to red, and he lost his mind. <laughs> as an assassin, and still a hygiene-impaired slob, I see. Sylvia? Is that it? You gotta be kidding. I haven't seen you in three years, and that's the welcome I get? How about you fill us in on everything that's happened since the last game? We're not gonna be satisfied until you do, right? Oh, give me a break. There are people starting from the sequel who don't care about continuity, you know. Besides, it would take forever if I recapped every detail of your fall from greatness. Players would skip it. It's so boring. Well, I... I guess you got a point there. Sometimes you have to look at things from different angles. Now, may I? This man was the 51st ranked assassin. Since you've killed him, that officially makes you 51st. And that means you are qualified to fight in the ranking battles again. So, how about it? If you're a real man, you'll do anything to climb back on top. Because trust me, the view is still very satisfying. Hold on. Why would I have to start from rank 51 this time? More competition. The last game's success made assassination trendy. Yeah, but I already fought my way to number one before. Shouldn't I get a special fast track to the title fight? No, but you will get a special prize. Shut up. You can't bribe me this time. I've already tasted those goods. But just a taste. This time, you'll get the five-course meal. Five-course? Mm. Wait, I don't get what that means. Did you know I am a yoga master? Hmm? You, you don't say. Are you familiar with any yoga positions? Like, uh, down... Downward dog? The dog can do all sorts of things. So can the cobra, the rabbit. C cobra? Rabbit? Like together? Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah! I'm in it to win, baby. Number one, here I come! Hey! We're not done yet. I've got a message for you. Oh my, he's still alive. Pain in my ass. Why aren't you dead yet? Such blind arrogance. Like the naked emperor. Seriously? I cut off your head? Travis! You are the loser. This fight was only part of our plan. 
Our plan? I said I'd avenge you killing my brother, didn't I? Well, who's been a brother to you? What? Travis. Don't think you can kill without suffering consequences. To kill someone is not simply to end their life. One must risk their entire being in order to destroy another's. Up until now, you've had it easy. I've taken the curse you gave me, the shackles of revenge, and I'm throwing them back on you. Now it's your turn to be burdened with another's death. It has destroyed me, and it will destroy you too. This is the ultimate vengeance! Hiroshima say I was just uh doing inventory. Help you find something? Nah. We're just here to collect. Travis. The heavenly dust returned to its maker, leaving in its place a blanket of sadness that covered Santa Destroy. Then the sun returned, and with it, deafening gunfire and clanking swords, the battles had resumed. <sighs> Demons disguised as men running wild in an orgy of ultraviolence as if to purge their souls of the hatred that blighted them. I have set up the next ranking fight. Where are you? I don't care who the fuck it is. Just give me someone to fight. You sound passionate. What's gotten into you? Someone killed Bishop! I understand. Wait for me at Burger Suplex. You mean your best friend? The shopkeeper? Sylvia, I want to make a deal. I'll conquer the rankings, fight whoever it takes. And in return, you find me the assholes who killed Bishop. Calm down. You shouldn't make this personnel. 
It is the quickest way to lose a battle. This isn't a battle anymore. It's a motherfucking war. Fine. It makes no difference. We... The mastermind behind Bishop's death is the owner of Pizza Bat. This building? Most of this city? He is the head of the corporation that runs it all. Jasper Bat Jr. And as fate would have it, he is also the number one assassin. You better not be lying. It is a fact. The object of your revenge is waiting at the top of the ranks. Wonderfully convenient, don't you think? Sure is. There's a new hotel on the beach. The 50th ranked assassin is waiting for you there. By the way, Bat Junior owns that hotel too. He really is everywhere, huh? Better hurry. There are 50 other fighters trying to kill him. You have no time to waste. Just sit back, Sylvia. And watch the hell I'm gonna raise. He was the leader of a religious cult. Taking advantage of people's sorrows, he used his music to lure followers. He spoke of a grand faith, but his words were hollow. It was all to satisfy his own goal. He'd only found success because of strong financial support from the new Mafia, who used his pulpit to gain support for their own agenda. Many believed he was just a tool of an up-and-coming gangster. But the real goal that drove him? <laughs> That's a secret. This must be karma. Travis Touchdown. Spare me the mystic crap. I came here to fight. Magnificent! Travis, the crowdless king. I see the rumors were true. I don't know who's talking about me, but that nickname's all right. Listen to me, your highness. These rankings mean nothing to me. Neither does my sect or the mob. My only true calling was to clash swords with you. That's why I joined this contest. I was starving for a worthy fool. Then you're in luck, because I'm as worthy as it gets, and I've got a shit ton of anger to work out. That's what I like to hear. This is it! This is what I've been praying for! I'm weary of this gilded world! Oh, glitter! No soul! Save me from sorrow, crownless king! Thy sword and thy wrath will deliver me! Uh, you should go easy on that crazy punch. How about I just cut you a new one? We'll both do as divinity commands! Hallelujah! Congratulations! Son of fantastic victory! You are now ranked 50th! Just 49 left. This is gonna take a while. You were spectacular! Better hurry. Like you said, I don't want anybody getting to that bat bastard first. Look at you, Travis. Violence is the only way you can express yourself, no? Oh, I'm in the zone, baby. Nothing's gonna hold me back. Good. I'll arrange the next fight. It's going to blow your mind. Can't fucking wait. Travis, it's me. Who am I killing? You'll see. It's definitely going to be unusual. Come to my office. I have forwarded the directions to your map. I'm busy, so hurry up. Gotcha.
Over here. So, this is the UAA office? Surprised? Didn't think it would be so fancy, considering the nature of your work. I'm an agent. Anything less would be uncivilized. Now, take a seat. Let's get started. Right. So, who's next? Charlie and his groupies. Groupies? What's that supposed to mean? Thanks. If I told you now, I'd ruin the surprise. Go see for yourself. Fine. Whoever they are, I'll make sure they get a nice close-up of my bean katana. All you feel is ecstasy when you kill. It's like you're getting off. Seriously. You need help. Everybody deals with grief differently, right? Some people fuck at funerals. I cut off heads. Do what you must, Travis. Charlie has countless girls on their hands and knees. A natural born playboy, he's a celebrity of sorts. Even I caught myself checking him out. Just looking into his eyes, it got me hot. Charlie and his groupies have a bond that cannot be broken. So much that when their breathing is synchronized, it's a warning sign that would make even a lion shiver. Touch you down. Yeah! A butt kicking day to you all. Especially you, Cupcake. Mr. Touchdown, it's an honor to face you. Man, I love your name. You gonna fight me with all your hoes? That's my game, but we need a better arena, don't you think? Huh? Let's go, ladies! Santa Death Parade! <laughs> I thought something like this might happen. Time to bust out the toy Naomi made. Making his long-awaited debut, Glastonbury. Glastonbury. Let's pop. Travis, you are now 25th. 
How does it feel to zip halfway through the ranks? Feels good. Quick and dirty's my style. Gotta admit, though, this does have a bad aftertaste. Ripping through a bunch of mostly harmless cheerleaders? Well, I could nullify your victory. Whoa, whoa, wait! I mean, I mean, they weren't that harmless. You can tear some shit up with a pop pop. Good answer. By the way, the UAA will now confiscate your robot. The hell you will! It is too big and it is a public nuisance. You gotta be kidding! Man, I had this baby custom made too. Travis! Don't forget, you are not the only assassin clawing up the ranks. Being 25th means there are just as many below as above, and they all want you dead. So watch your back, okay? Yeah, yeah. Travis, it's me. Your next fight is arranged. You know what to do, yes? I've updated your map. Handle the rest yourself. Whoa there, Ice Queen. What's with the harsh treatment? I do not have time to waste on 25th rank scrubs like you. Take a Whoa. hit, you impotent dipshit! Huh? I like her better when she's horny. Supernatural gateways in Santa Destroy. Have you heard about them? They're called Akashic Points and lead to different planes of existence. Like a sacred forest inhabited by not only the living, but something else in between. I read about it online and I laughed it off. Lost souls who escaped death through deals with the devil and live on in hideous forms. You don't believe me? Oh, you can believe what you want. Um, uh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> uh, can I call you Travis the Great? Travis Ravenous? Cool hand, teasy greasy. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I, uh, I've always been a fan. What? A fan? Of me? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I watched your fight with Charlie, too. Oh, you were hardcore. So cool. Oh, no. Oh, I feel really nervous. I think I'm gonna puke. OMG, I bet you hate girls who puke. Uh, never really thought about it. <laughs> Don't stare at me. You're staring at me. If you get me preggers, promise you won't ditch me, okay? <laughs> anyway, I wrote down all my feelings in a letter. Here, take it. Your, uh, feelings? So this is a love letter? Take it, take it, or I'll totally die. Okay, thanks. I could use a dose of innocence. That last fight got a little sick, even for me. <laughs> um, aren't you gonna read it? Huh? Read it? Now? Here? Yes! 
You have to read it out loud just for lulls. I wrote a song dedicated to Travis the Great, so you read and I'll play it on my flute, okay? You're... you're joking, right? Read this here? Here we go. Get into it. To my dearest Travis the Great. Hi there, Travis the Great. I am the girl who loves you the most in the entire world. But in order to prove that I'm your number one fan, I need some kind of evidence. Because no matter how much I insist that I'm your number one, any other chick or bitch can approach you and say the exact same thing. That is why I've decided that I should become strong. By doing so, I knew that someday I'd be able to get closer to you. Putting my title as Travis the Great's number one fan on the line, I embarked on this path and ended up winning the National Student Assassin Championship. I really did my best. But you know, in hindsight, it was a cinch. I guess I'm just blessed. I could master in one day techniques that would take others years to do. Pretty awesome, right? And then I got greedy, a new urge, a vision, that just maybe I could win a fight against Travis the Great. Now my goal is to behead Travis the Great, therefore surpassing my hero. Oops, did I actually write that? It's kind of embarrassing, you know. Well, anyways, I've made up my mind. I made an oath. I won't be killed by anyone. I shall defeat Travis the Great in battle. Only then will Travis the Great become mine and mine only. Love, Travis the Great's number one fan, Kimmy Howell. Okay, so much for the dose of innocence. But you've got the bloodlust. I'm sure about that. Yeah, I'm legit, and way tougher than I look. So, uh, don't hold back, okay? Because one mistake is all over. This is for real. <laughs> if you're trying to give me a headache, it's working. Now it's lesson time. This is a real fight, with real consequences, sweetheart. <laughs> Travis the Great. Screw this. I can't kill a co-ed. Come see me after you graduate, and I'll school you again. Bono ghost busting.
Oh, well, that was gross. What? What's a kid doing here? I'm going to kill you. What's that? <laughs> this is a problem with fighting the supernatural. You cannot kill someone who's already dead. Already dead? Okay. Are you on the pipe? Such a horrible past. Thirty years ago, that child was abandoned, left to die in this house. As the story goes, he made a pact with the devil with his final breath. Revived through the dark arts, the child murdered his parents and now rules this forest, feeding on suffering and hate. All assassins have fucked up somehow, or we wouldn't be in this profession. Nothing surprises me anymore. Now you are ranked 24th. Still a ways to go until the top. You are not getting tired? Huh. I haven't even broken a sweat. Why don't you bring me a real challenge? <laughs> You've got it. I told you last time about the gateways, remember? The second Akashic point leads to an even stranger place. A prison floating on the sea, shut down long ago. In daylight, it's only ruins. But when night falls, you can hear a woman's tragic scream. A cry, so chilling that birds go mad, caking the ocean surface with their dead bodies, drowning themselves to escape her cry. Not all of the island's prisoners have been moved. You don't have to believe me. You can believe what you want. Travis, it's me. I have set up your next battle. Check out the map and go when you please. Oh, and by the way, until you crack the top 10, you are responsible for all travel expenses. The association can pay for everyone with the price of gas and all. You got it? Hold up, I'm shelling out all this cash and you can't spring for bus fare? I'm busy, got to go. Don't hang up on me. Oh. So the damsel's in here. Chicks put out for their rescuers, right? Ah, I guess that's a no. You know, you're lucky I don't have a bondage kick. Definitely not a broad I'd want to hook up with. Don't say that, handsome. Actually, you're just my type. Thanks. But no thanks. You'd be even more dashing if you were writhing in agony. Come closer to me. Huh? Show me your face twisted in pain. My body! <laughs> Huh? Oh, 
I just realized we are out of sea. Just swim back, okay? Travis, it's me. I have set up the next ranked fight. Things are a little different this time around. Anyway, come to my office. Don't build things up. Just tell me already. Oh, get your dumb ass to my office now. Gotcha. <sighs> Ooh, that was quick. Wait, who was that? Um, uh, who? Is that person? Uh, nobody. He's just the, uh, newspaper delivery man. Taking the emergency exit is faster. Hey, that's true. The paper boy's a genius. I know, right? Anyway, let's talk about the rules for your next ranking battle. Rules? Something's changed? Yes, the association resorts to this when there isn't much activity in the rankings, or when there are too many strong fighters, or sometimes when we just get bored. Ooh. A battle royale. Battle royale? A fight to the death with 12 participants. If you win, you'll jump to the 10th rank. Damn, that's a twisted way to do things. You agents are becoming as fucked up as the killers you rep. Oh, we've always been fucked up, as you say. We just wear nicer clothes. Fucked up assassins working with fucked up agents. Huh. Doesn't get any better than this. Will you be the last man standing? No doubt. I'll kill them all in a flash. I love watching a group battle, in all its chaos. But those fighters, poor things, they never have a chance. And where's the fun in that? The bodies of the fallen, stiffening trophies for the winner. But the real hero hasn't even fought yet, and there was much to reveal. Is it my turn yet? Uh, anybody work here? This is taking forever! Open the gate so I can kick some ass! Sensors suggest carnage level satisfactory. Who is my next victim? Question mark. Surprise gasp. You are identified as Travis Touchdown. Luck is an irrational concept, but your presence defies probability. Do you remember me? Question mark. What? I don't know who or what the fu- Wait a second. Oh yeah. You're that fifth-ranked freak Henry sliced up before I got the chance to. Affirmative. After near-fatal decimation, I had no choice but to take this modified form. Looks to me like you just gained a few pounds. Hardware was effective, but my pride was not. With determination levels maximum, I thought only of winning. It was meaningless, futile, illogical. But such is the curse of being run by a human brain. That brain also makes you talk a lot, doesn't it? Henry's the one who tore your shit up. But if you want to take it out on me, go ahead. All I desire is a duel with you. Desire level, 100%. Revenge on primary target was previously accomplished. Behold! Same dramatically. So Henry makes a cameo. Before fighting you, 
I elected to defeat UAA's formerly top-ranked assassin as practice sequence. This was same individual on whom I also desired vengeance. Efficient turn of events, do you agree? Question mark. Would you shut up? I just need to make one thing clear. I'm not gonna kill you because of Henry. I'm gonna kill you because your big metal ass is in my way. Devilish laughter. Activating main engine. I already know this routine. Three, two, one. Fire! Battle fly. Boom. Crap. That was quick. Pretty fast for a tin can. Now it's my turn. Master, it's been a long time. Shinobu? How did... Wait, what did you say? Did you call me Master? I don't have time for apprentices. You have any idea how much pro wrestling is backlogged on my VCR? I came to tell you I got back safely from Asia. You should be happy. I didn't even know you left. Are you listening? I'm not your master. My only desire was to become strong like you, Master. So I trained hard, and I fought to become the champion of Asia. Here's my belt. No way. You won this? That's pretty badass. I was told the competition was heating up in Santa Destroy, and my Master was overburdened. Me? Overburdened? Who told you that? Sylvia. She said I should come back and help you. What? Who's that bitch think she is, my nanny? Listen up, Shinobu. This is my war. I don't need help from anybody. Well, the thing is, it's kind of too late for that. Huh? What are you talking about? I'll explain later, Master. But you should go to the bathroom first. Seriously, it's a long story. Fine, but I'm not your goddamn master. Sorry for interrupting your time abroad, but will you fight for Travis? Sure. I'm eager to kill, so hurry with the details. Straight to the point. I like that. Can you handle two of our top ten? Only two? That's nothing. Why don't I just take them all? You've grown confident. Yeah, but not overconfident. Unlike you, I can see myself objectively. Creepy little girl. Don't forget your promise. Double cross me, and you're dead. You cannot kill me, silly. You're not worth the stain on my blade. Who's there? Sorry, but I gotta make this quick. My opponent's a young girl? If you kill me, you can fight Travis. But that's a huge it. You talk a lot of trash for a child. Let's get to the fun. What? Any last words? Just give me your name. When the gatekeeper to hell asks who sent you, tell him it was Shinobu Jacobs.
Yes, sir. Enjoy your trip. <laughs> On to the next one. It's this bishop's grave. Yeah. Were you friends? Yes. We never met in person, but we knew each other well. We exchanged many letters, even though our countries and languages were different. We truly understood each other. I am very much indebted to him. He gave me courage. Oh, I'm just lumbering. Don't mind me. By any chance... Do you know his best friend, Travis? Of course. Excellent. In that case... Would you please give this to him? It is from Bishop. This? It is a lot of things, I suppose. Knowing it is your hands, I can have peace of mind. Now, let me light some incense before I go. Thanks. I promise to deliver it to my master. Please do. Yeah? Shinobu, the next match is ready. On my way. This better be good. Here, a young lady. You know, it's dangerous coming to a place like this alone. You ought to be more careful. Seriously, terrible things can happen. I see it on the news all the time. <laughs> Maybe that's why she came. It's what she wants. Two grown men to keep her company. <laughs> Horny slut. My master's got his hands full, so I'm taking his place. Not that it matters. The result's gonna be the same. I don't have time for this. You're taking Travis's place? Wow. I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty disrespected. Just shut up and fight. Oh, listen to this whore. Acting like she's some kind of femme fatale. Shut up and fight, she says. She's really pissing me off. Seriously. And she's so rude. Reminds me of my complaining customers. Now, Travis, he knew how to fight like a gentleman. Sliced me in half, sure, but... He did it with grace. I mean, come on. Put her there. Huh? You know, let's shake hands. Sportsmanship is paramount to a fair and clean fight. <sighs> Hurry up and shake! Dirty nympho. <laughs> Whatever. But which one? It doesn't matter. Your choice. The one that's throbbing. <laughs> Destroy Spark. What the? What? Ah! Was this supposed to spark? Wait. Ah! Filthy skank! Yeah, that wasn't smart. I'll be sure Travis gets your head in the mail! Enough with your freak show. Now bring it. We're, We're gonna, gonna kill, kill you twice, twice over! over. really blows. I can't believe I fell for that. And that's how I took them out. Destroy Man came back? Huh, didn't see that coming. 
He was an annoying prick, though. I'm glad he's dead. Again. I can kill more fighters for you. Whatever my master wants. Hmm? Master. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. <sighs> Pesky little cub. You can't kill me. Eat this. Must be having a nightmare. Hey, over here. Huh? I can't. I feel like that pervy teacher in a porn. It's me. I am sending the next fight to your map. So, you can really count on her, yes? The rest should be easy now that she has done her part. Yeah. Wait. Something wrong? Nah, it's nothing. The next sucker's all mine. A man from the East had acquired power. Real power, beyond brute strength or deadly weapons, beyond technology or gimmicks. It's the power all humans have, but few learn to harness. It subdues all enemies with the sheer force of its will. When fighters who wield this clash, the battle is epic. They see it in each other and form a brotherhood. It becomes a test of their souls. Maybe someday we'll be the spectators of such a battle. He had nothing left. I know that, but he was a true warrior, and you gunned him down like a thug. This is not some peewee karate tournament, Travis. You do not say bow and go home. You are an assassin, and killing is how you win. But I... But what? He fought honorably, so he wanted to let him live? So he can come back stronger and cut you in half? You are developing a bad habit. First that dumb schoolgirl, now him? 
Just finish the job, or we will do it for you. These fights are not a sport. Shit. How'd you do that? Read your thoughts? Well, you gave them to me. That doesn't make any sense. I was hoping you'd wander around some more. Explore. Me? Yes, you. You did not want to go back, so you reached out to my consciousness instead. Now we are one. Let's play. Away with ye! I said be gone! You should stay here forever. No way. We live together. I'll never leave. I'm going back. If you want to go to the other side, then I have no choice. I've got to kill you. Why don't you come with me? You'd like it there. I know you're trying to trick me! Yes! No way! Oh, chill out! What the bloody hell? About time you woke up. Yeah. Are you the one who rescued me? I had a fight to win. You were just collateral damage. So get out when you can manage it. Until then, I've got some good shit on video. We'll see about that. <laughs> Forgive your big brother was too much of a shite bag to thank you face to face. You're the big brother? <laughs> You're How do you know I didn't pop out, out which first? Which one of us popped out first? And the point is, there's no honor in getting rescued by my younger, big <sighs> brother. So I took it upon myself to proper kill Scott Gardner, Greg Cantrell, and Massimo Bellini. You've got to so be now kidding me. Officially ranked Would you fifth. fucking people and stop no stealing my me. kills? This makes us even, as far as the rescue goes. You and I still have a score to box off, but that's another subject entirely. So don't get yourself killed till we have a chance to finish our fight. Damn it, Irish ass. He could at least have told me more about those assassins. And in case you were wondering, well, I took pictures of the three Skangers as souvenirs. How long is this You'll message? Just have to rule over them, because there's no way you can play through these fights. The game's stuffed full as it is. Pics came out nice, though. They'd probably make good wallpaper for your cell. Well, I'm out of things to say, so I'll hang up now. Hmm. Long message, isn't it? Hello? Travis, it's me. I have arranged the next fight. Come to my office. Gotcha. Take a seat. There's something I want to talk to you about. Another rule change? No, it's about Henry. I want to clear the air. Why? We are divorced now, you know. What's that got to do with me? I don't want to hear any of that shit. The last time when you and Henry fought each other? Yeah, I remember. You stopped us instead of letting us settle things for good, like men. But you don't know why I stopped you. 
I did not want you to have to kill your brother or die yourself. What the hell does that mean? You told me a killer wins by killing. Now you say you want us both to live. Make up your damn mind. They're our fights, and we know how to end them a lot better than some bitch in the box stand. Telling me not to kill. How many personalities do you have? <laughs> so what? You want revenge, right? Your opponents could not care less about that. Once I'm number one, these bullshit ranking fights are over. Got it? Assassins aren't tools. As fucked up as we might be, we're humans too. She was called the goddess of death. With sickle in hand, she would chant her requiem. If you heard it, odds were you'd just drawn your last breath. The mere sound of her voice would put ice in your veins. I know. I heard it myself once, from a hundred yards away. The moment it touched my ear, I passed out for an entire week. If I'd heard it up close, I can scarcely imagine. Forget it. Let's talk about happier things. You know this song? Nope. How tragic. Then let me teach you. Catchy as hell. Did you... Did you memorize the song? 100%. That... is so... sublime. One more down. Three to go. Hello, it's me. I've set up the next ranked battle. Check the map. The top three are pretty tough. Just try not to die, okay? Yeah. Santa Destroy is a magnet for the bizarre. There are things I still don't understand. It is a melting pot. Not only of cultures and people, but even space and time. Did the hero survive? If you know, could you tell me? You've got to be... Mayday, mayday, mayday! 
Spaceship Borg to Mother, do you copy? Please respond. Spaceship Borg to Mother, looks like I've been followed by an American. This is Captain Vladimir, entering emergency attack mode. Requesting backup for Volk. Transmitting present coordinates now. Huh? What the hell? I gotta fight a whole fucking space program now? Attack unsuccessful. Reacquire target and eliminate enemy. Volk, my ship. It's over, Captain. This... this is Earth? Yeah. Welcome home. So... I'm finally back. After all this time... Fresh oxygen. Blue sky. Beautiful as I remember. Glory to the Soviet Union. You are now ranked third. Just leave him alone. Let him rest in peace. We must dispose of the remains. It's policy. Screw your policy. He's back with the Earth after who knows how long. You're not gonna suck him up with your damn vacuum. Hello, Travis. I have arranged the next match. Only two left. Win this, and that junior is yours. The duel will take place at a secret location. Secret? I don't have time for guessing games. It's the final Akashic Point. Look for the hero space. Sorry, that's all the information I have. Figure it out, and get there. Damn you. You've heard about two of the supernatural gateways in Santa Destroy. The third led to the most fitting mystery of all for a city fixated on the ranks. Sealed from the cacophony of modern life, there lived the last ascetic. Abstaining from all worldly indulgences, the ascetic spent every waking hour in training. Battle had become an obsession for this warrior, the end all. The raison d'etre. You know I've never abstained from anything. Still, I can relate. When you're so focused on any goal, it can make you blind to what you truly desire. Travis Touchdown, correct? Yeah, that's me. The No More Hero. How unfortunate. Right when I'm about to reach the top, you have to find me. I was hoping we'd fight after I became number one. Sorry to crush your dreams. I hate to do it. But I've got business with that son of a bitch. And I can't let you get to him first. Please, don't think of me as a nuisance. But I will make sure your victory isn't easy. My pride as the second rank requires that much. Honorable. I like that in a woman. I've seen a lot in my journey up the ranks. An endless cycle of violence, now broadcast as a spectator's sport. 
Why, Travis? Why do so many assassins join if we are all going to end up killing each other in the end? Does it really matter why? To me, it does. It matters more than anything. We've all become trapped, don't you see? Addicted to the violence, to a life in the shadows. Once we join the ranks, we can never get out. Don't be stupid. If you get tired of the battles, just fucking quit! But that's why we all want to fight you. To learn your secret. Don't you get it? Get what? You are the crownless king, the one who got out. You reached the top, then walked away. Well, I'm back now, aren't I? With you, it is different. You are the no more hero. Show me your passion. Release me from this cycle. Free us all in a crimson sea. You asked for it. Bring it on! Travis, you are incredible. Everything I hoped for. Tell me your name. Promise me you won't forget. There once was an assassin named Alice. I won't forget. Tell us. You are now officially ranked second. See that? Now that was a battle. Look at this blood. We humans are alive, even if we are assassins. Doesn't matter if it's a video game, movie, drama, anime, manga, we're alive! People shed blood and die. This isn't a game. You can't just selfishly use death as your tool. This is Alice's blood. I bet you've already forgotten she existed. Same way you would have forgotten me. And that's why I'm tearing down the UAA! Are you done bitching? You could never shut down the association. Fighting to be the best is human nature. It's evolution. Who are we to try and stand in its way? Fuck that. I want to be a hero by my own standards. You need to wake up, Travis. Take your own goddamn advice. Travis, it's me. Are you ready for your last battle to the death? Yeah. You know where to go? It's close by. Hold on. Someone's at the door. It's my first time here, isn't it? A VIP just showed up. Talk to you soon. Sure. Sylvia, I can't figure you out. You don't like me? I didn't say that. But there's a lot of things about you I don't get. You lie. You're greedy. You're a fucking contradiction in heels. You hate me. Well, your personality kind of sucks. So you do hate me? I'm crazy about you. What do you mean? Fuck if I know. Downward fucking dog! I 
I don't remember anything else. But you see, I have forgotten everything. This place is closing today. The owner is shutting us down and moving back to his hometown. It'd be nice to go home too. Since it's the last day, are you expecting something special? What are you expecting? Why do you listen? Well, it doesn't matter. I never really expected to know. You came here almost every day. You paid to hear me ramble on. And that gave me as much happiness as I can hope for. After falling this far, there's nothing left to lose. Every day as joyless as the one before it. With eyes closed, I continue to endure my existence. But I feel that I've been able to open them just a little. Today, since it's our last chance, I want to hear your voice. Let me hear what you sound like, who you are. Just once. was gonna kill me. How will he make his entrance? Is he emo or grunge? What's his fighting style? How's his broke-ass face gonna look when he dies? So much hostility! Why? Why'd you kill him? Ironic question coming from an assassin. Did you honestly think you could take so many lives and never suffer retribution? Have you never even seen a kung fu movie, spy flick, or western? Shakespeare, for God's sake! If you wanted revenge, you should have come for me! Not only did you murder my father, but my two brothers as well. That is why I took your best friend's life. Makes sense, Travis. It's called poetic justice. Go to hell. Don't Ooh. ever compare Bishop with your shithead family. So naive, Travis. If you have someone to protect, you will lose them eventually. See for yourself. <laughs> Now you're feeling it. That's your life losing all meaning. You've got nothing left except this fight. Now I know you'll put all you have into this. You're gonna fucking pay. Yes, a fight to the death. Get angry. So angry you start convulsing. Now, draw your katana. I'll relish every moment, every second of this kill. May you savor your death as well. Enough! Let the final battle begin! No, no, not yet! The show has just begun! You gotta be shitting me! <sighs> and that's a wrap. Uh, no, not yet. Now that's hideous. <laughs> Rich assassins pull the craziest shit. <laughs> Well, we almost got him. The rest is on you. Wait a second. You're already here. You might as well keep fighting. It's not happening, brother. I can't be associated with that travesty. I mean, I've got standards for fuck's sake. Suit yourself. Now, I'm gonna get my revenge once and for all. <laughs> Come on, Prez. Unleash your hate, your anger, everything. I'll take it all and fucking kill you with it! 
Go! Oh, fuck!
Finally, here she is. Sylvia. I was looking for you. Yeah, it's real. Let's go home. Santa Destroy needs us. Travis. <laughs>